So this is the ink machine, huh? Wonder how you turn it on. Okay, we're 30 minutes into the print and not even halfway finished. And of course, I took the camera off because I have to record with the same camera and I bumped the bed. So everything's slightly skewed there and luckily I think it'll recover, but uh, that wasn't smart. Well, my printer needs a, a serious adjustment. As you can see, the Y-axis has slipped a couple times, leading to a wavy side there. Um, but it's almost done and I'll try to salvage it. Luckily the uh, paper will go over top and kind of hide some of that, but it's not as pretty as I would have liked. Um, I brought the centerpiece of the ink machine into Pepakura Designer 4 and uh, it looks pretty good except for the texture here is missing and stuff. Um, but that's on the inside where the ink well goes and it's not going to be a big deal. So we go ahead and unfold it and here's where I messed up before the scale was uh, set to a lower scale and they didn't line up the 3D print and the paper print. But um, if it's at one, it'll work good. Um, and so then here you have it unfolded and some pieces you could put back on here. Um, this piece here, like I said, it was missing on here, but it, it did, it is hidden. It's a hidden layer. It should, uh, the texture should have been attached to here, but it wasn't. Um, if I could figure that out, then I could actually make this into a paper craft a lot better. Um, I keep getting all these extraneous pieces. So if I ever get to be able to make it into a paper craft, if I can fix the model so that Pepakura can, can do it right, um, then that'll be good. I hear the printer. Oh, brother, Bendy, we're almost out of ink. We'll never get this thing done if we don't have enough ink. Oh. So there's my not to scale original paper craft model. And here we're going to start to build the box. Um, I'm going to leave the lid as a flap so I can get inside there and put the mechanism in. Um, the gears will come out the front here. And uh, I want to try to make a mechanism so I can put a little motor in there and uh, get the gears to counter rotate. So that'll take a little bit. Um, but for now, we're just going to apply this texture. And uh, if I can put my camera down, I will show you how I use spray adhesive and just stick it on. Don't spray me, I'm your friend! Okay, bobblehead, get on back there. All right, I'm gonna use this uh, spray adhesive. Just spray a little bit on here, if I can. All right, that should do it. Doesn't take too much. And uh, I'm not sponsored by 3M, but now I'm gonna try to apply this to here. Just give it a little bit of time to dry. Doesn't need much. Start at the back here and work my way forward. Now I didn't print all the way down, but that's because the model, I kind of messed it up. Um, still need to figure that out. The good thing about the spray adhesive is it allows you a little bit of time to move things around when you mess up like I am doing right now. Well, I'm going to take a break right here. Um, I've put all the textures on here. Look, I even shaped the under or sanded the underside of the cabinet. Um, and uh, once I 3D print the side here where the gear goes and start with the nozzle. I'm going to have to make an adaptation here and drill a hole and stick my motor and stuff in there. But uh, it's looking like it's working. And uh, subscribe and um, we'll get the rest of it done here in uh, maybe a few days. Uh, it might be a week or so. We'll see. 
Um, so there you have it. The ink machine is coming together. And Bobblehead Bendy seems to approve of it.